when you think about the racism that you experienced back then and see where the nation is now, uh, how would you describe the progress that you've seen in your lifetime? Oh, most, oh my goodness. They speak of Tuskegee Airmen as the men who changed our country. Um, we received, oh, I didn't wear it, damn it. We received the Congressional Gold Medal. Uh, President Bush presented that to us in 19... 2007. Huh? 2007. 2007, yes. Mm -hmm. And um, on the back of that medal, it explains why it was presented. It says outstanding, uh, outstanding combat uh, record inspired revolutionary reform in the armed services. Now that refers to the fact that uh, President Harry Truman in 1948, President Harry Truman was seeing how well men of color were uh, and, and, and all the branches of service, especially men who were doing this stuff, the complicated stuff, flying these machines in the air. And he reasoned it be this segregation business is nonsense. So in 1948, President Truman issued Executive Order 8896, which in effect ended segregation in the uh, in the military. And once the military was desegregated. And that desegregation effort continued rolling, rolling throughout our country to the point where um, legislation was passed in different communities where black people could, uh, could vote and they could vote for their representatives. And uh, President Obama says he stands on the shoulders of Tuskegee Airmen to become the president because the political stuff that followed, followed that permitted, uh, inspired people to uh, see people of color differently than they had in the past and inspired people to vote for uh, a man of color to be president. So you think all that traces back, to a degree, back to Tuskegee? Yeah, that's why they say Tuskegee Airmen were the uh, men who changed our country. Because so much goes back to uh, the success of, of uh, men of color learning to fly at, at Tuskegee.